Does wearing a hat keep you warm while dancing naked? It could be an important question this holiday season, especially if you plan on some bearskin boogieing to celebrate the winter solstice. You've probably heard that around 70% of your body heat is lost through your head. It's a figure that's prompted many a parent to tell their kids to wear a hat when they go out in the cold, presumably to stop the onset of early hypothermia while waiting for the bus or playing in the snow. But is the advice good advice? A 1957 British study measured heat loss from volunteers by sticking their heads in a box in a thermometer up their bottom. After extensive measurements, the authors estimated that in a 5 miles per hour wind at minus 4 degrees Celsius, around 50% of the heat a person's body generates could be lost through the head. So, for the nude winter dancers among you, will donning a cosy cap cut your heat loss by half? Sadly not. We now know that body heat loss is related to how much skin you expose, not which part of your body you're exposing. And as the head of your average naked dancer represents around 10% of their total body area, it'll also account for just 10% of their heat loss. In other words, that hat won't make too much difference. But, and here's the interesting bit from a science of risk perspective, the question to don or not to don a hat all depends on what else you're wearing. If you're prancing around in your birthday suit, only around 10% of your heat is lost through your head. But if you put on your thermal undies, heat loss through your head becomes much more important. In other words, while the 70% wear a hat advice may be misguided, it may not be as daft as it seems. It all depends on the context within which evidence is being used. So if you're heading out in the cold this holiday, wear a hat by all means if you want to keep cosy. Just don't assume you can ditch the rest of your clothes and still stay warm. For more insights into the science of risk, don't forget to subscribe to Risk Bites.